hello and welcome to a new series on the channel we are checking out RimWorld's latest expansion anomaly and we're going to do a fresh run with the newest scenario and a t an entire playthrough on the youtubes as i usually do or at least we'll see how far we can get um, and I don't anticipate this run being interrupted by another RimWorld expansion, so I think we're safe to, to say we'll take this one to the end. If you're new to the channel, welcome! My name's Bulko. Um, I like to play a lot of RimWorld on the channel recently. I do a few other things as well, but feel free to subscribe and use the chapters below to skip past the intro stuff if you want to get right into the action. Otherwise, we're going to start off with the new anomaly expedition and we've done tundra before but i kind of had an idea and i was thinking like um blood and dust seems good i like to kind of be able to rp reload anytime just for recording purposes because every once in a while my kids interrupt me or something and i need to uh restart or i just forget to record or my mic's not working or something um we'll always do the the good old bulko seed uh, and we'll, we'll generate a nice typical rim world, as it were. And as I was saying, I had an idea about how to start this particular run. So what I was thinking is what if we kind of go way up, way, way up somewhere where it's pretty chilly. Um, where there's really not much growing period. Um, and I was thinking a nice flat tundra, not quite ice sheet. I think ice sheet would be, I I'm not prepared for the level of cheese that the ice sheet requires. Um, but the tundra, a nice flat open tundra, I think is kind of fun. And um, a little bit of a cold tundra, similar to our previous one. And I think I like the idea of almost like edge of the world. Um, like we could even go like right like next to the ice sheet. Um, still being close to a road if we want to, you know, venture out a little bit. And the reason I kind of like this with the anomaly expansion is it really gives me some like the thing vibes. It's like we've discovered this ancient artifact right near like the polar ice caps like right next to it maybe they're receding and this monolith has been unleashed so that's sort of the thing we're going for i also think sort of like a void follower system is something we're going to go for um we definitely want um want that and i i don't think i think we'll just kind of like go with the randomized uh, flavors and, and things it gives us there. So we're not going to do custom. We'll do uh, we'll do void followers and see what it gives us. So we have the Arconic path um, and uh, we're called Torturists. And we have very, very efficient void study, but we do have slow research. So uh, that's going to make things challenging. Now, for our starting colonists, we have a few things that we are looking for. A uh, slow learner is not ideal. However, this is a really interesting person. Unfortunately, asthma kind of sucks. Um, but we'll look. Okay, this is someone I like. Recluse, not the best for an initial start. However, um, construction is really high and intellectual is really high and a jogger. We do want someone who can build quickly. That's great. Um, we don't want anybody who has zero construction, unfortunately. So we're going to kind of forego a few of these people. A slow poke, a slothful slow poke is not someone we're interested in. Okay. So looking at these, the things we're looking at is we don't have plants. We don't have medical. Now, I, I typically want to avoid doing a whole bunch of rerolling. I don't want to get like perfect pawns, but I'll, I, I will do a small amount of rerolling. Now I won't go complete cheese. Cause one thing you can do is you can just go Hussar and like this person is insane. This is the most insane ghoul you can have. 
because we have 20 in melee despite the go juice addiction that you would normally have because you're a ghoul you're immune to all addictions um i'm also a brawler and i'm tough so this particular ghoul and not to mention you have a flesh whip you know what I'm just going to keep this ghoul. I said I wasn't going to cheese and I didn't like spam reroll. This is just what the game gave me, right? Right? We want a true monster. And in some ways, is it really cheesing? Because if I lose control of this ghoul, it will definitely destroy my entire colony. So maybe we'll just keep this one. It's it's fun. It's it's kind of fun. Okay. And we're not going to do a bunch of cheese with the biotech stuff, though. Um, I do just want to reroll... A couple of things get get some of our basics we're not looking for um perfect we're looking for uh incapable of none with some construction okay that didn't hit the mark um incapable okay the one construction i mean otherwise we're pretty good um yeah this is a pretty good pun it kind of shores up some of our other weaknesses um really crappy in the battles this person is also really crappy in the battles um but we have the ghoul the ghoul is the battles all right i don't want to do too much cheesing with the rerolls um i think we'll we'll keep that we have some great team skills to start things off and we will start the ancient monolith unleashed an energy pulse that tore your research vessel apart and mutated your crew. Only a few of you made it to the escape pods. Despite the setback, your mission is far from over. You can learn more about the monolith. Perhaps you can find a way to shut it down or harness its inhuman power. Wonderful. And the monolith just so happens to be conveniently located next to uh, some nice soil which is great. We're going to need that. Uh, we have a little bit more up here that we can use. We have this very clearly designated uh, ancient danger here. We have a few bits and bobs that we could dismantle, uh, make, make some buildings out of. We have this building right here that's pretty much ready to go. We even have some, some nice tables. Uh, we can kind of deconstruct a couple of these things. Um, Maybe some of these columns. Uh, and I think we could turn this into a nice little little starter uh, research base here. We do have a little bit of mountain. We can kind of mine this out to get something. Um, we have this great big open space across from the monolith. I'm trying to think where exactly do we want to settle down? So there's a whole bunch of like fine growing area nearby. Um, a whole bunch of really good growing area down here. Little pockets around and up here is actually really nice. There is quite a bit of growing area. Um, it's right next to the anima tree though, which is not ideal. We do have a steam geyser, which is something that we also want to look for. So I think to start, we might be making our base up here right around the steam geyser. Unfortunately, we might need to get rid of the anima tree. That's definitely an option. <clears throat> um, it's not ideal. But uh, I mean, we could also just like protect the anima tree, but uh, it's it's mostly going to be in the way. We're not going to be doing tribal side casts anytime soon. I do want to build kind of close to the monolith. I don't know if I want to build so close to the monolith that I'm going to be using too much of this as as the source of uh, growing. We could kind of go somewhere in the middle and still stay relatively close. This is going to be a source of research, but I think I, I haven't played too much aside from a, a short stream, which is also uploaded on the channel here. And I learned a little bit from the DLC, but not a lot. So I, I don't even know how far we're going to get in this particular run. We might instantly get destroyed. Um, I'm actually thinking, despite the fact that I really want this particular steam geyser, um, it might be worth, ah, uh, this is actually really hard. All the great spots are clearly 
you know, far away aside from this little growth area here. And I do want to be able to make an inside farm. I mean, to be fair, it's not the worst just to use regular ground. Um, so we could just build a farm, you know, here and we'll be okay. Um, or, or up here. This might be the best compromise because I can repurpose this structure, um, use this as a, a farm for now. Um, and then we have some options of where we want to go from there. So maybe we'll, we'll start with that. We'll start right kind of central, close enough that you can still regularly research, uh, close enough for farm, and we have take advantage of the already mostly intact structure. So I've talked myself into it. Um, as always, if you would like to join this adventure, uh, feel free to leave a name in the comments below, and I will do my best to uh, include you in our in our journeys. All right, we're gonna just kind of close this off for now. It's a pretty big room. Um, instead of deconstructing these, we might just claim these for now. Um, actually, no, let's just get rid of them. I was thinking we could maybe like build around them, but nah, we'll just close off. All right, um, we have a bunch of iron. We got, let's just allow all of it. Um, allow all the things we need to get some furniture going. Uh, wood is always going to be the bottleneck. Um, we might wait for some deconstructing to happen before we do too much else. Let's get this closed in. We have some decent constructors. Uh, yeah, we'll do, we'll, we'll allow it despite it not being great. Um, and we'll go from there. Wonderful. We are closed in. Uh, we can turn off the overlay here. Um, we actually have some flooring already, which is nice, beautiful. We're all set up. Um, before we get starving, let's, uh, I mean, maybe we, we do want to have this for now. Um, set up some growing zones. Kind of efficient with it. Um, all right. We'll do one big one of rice. We'll leave some potatoes. Um, some, nobody has that yet. Uh, so maybe we'll just do um, a little bit of corn. We'll do some cotton. Um, maybe we'll also just do a growing zone sort of adjacent because I think we do want power. We actually have the ability to use the water to our advantage potentially that does mean we are going to be running cables a ways though maybe we instead yeah we could fit two this way we still have enough to wall around it so we'll start up here i want to start down here who knows we could also go for more of like a middle middle of the road and then do one this way the in the future or we could go adjacent. Uh, we are more likely to build up. Let's do it like that. Oops. Right clicked when I meant to left click. And uh, we'll get going. All right. Deconstruct. Let's claim. Let's sort of reinstall. Um, let, it, let us claim all the things. This is our stuff. Deconstruct that marble. Beautiful. We can start making marble stuff. Uh, marble stuff. Let's make a marble. Uh, actually, let's make a marble, not a shell. We need to make a marble bookcase. That in there. We also want um, slab beds. I think, oh, we, we failed at that already. I think we can knock a few trees down and we'll make... We'll make something out of that as well. Now we have all the traditional setup to do. I know we have one person who's like kind of capable of shooting. Um, we do need to make some stockpiles and just get everything inside. Uh, in fact, let's just prioritize getting stuff inside. Um, 
I do need to keep an, a monitor on Bucky's uh, food situation because these friends are likely to uh, go hostile. And as mentioned, my colonists are not very capable of defending themselves. They rely on their, their ghoul to do a lot of the heavy lifting. Who is the more capable constructor, Weasel? Let's get this going because it is a little chilly. Technically the middle of summer, so it's 11 degrees outside. It's not unbearable, but it will be absolutely freezing eventually. So we'll get a little heater in there and uh, get things nice and comfy. Because we are fairly remote. I also might even consider building this as an inside farm sooner than later. And I would need solar panels things hooked up for that um, and this could be a real challenge in terms of managing our resources when it's going to get this cold and we have all these uh, fun things to deal with um, luckily this does count as refrigeration because it is going to be so cold at night so some of this stuff is going to be pretty good for a while but we do need to get these bodies inside we also have a couple of bodies that came down with us that we should probably dispose of um, we might consider a little dumping stockpile behind this uh, Hummer. Um, just put those bodies over there, get them out of the way, deal with them at another time. So much to get out of the way, so much to deal with. I think we might just reinstall this table. Um, we might move some of these columns and things. Lots of, lots of jobs to do. But we'll just let everybody haul the junk inside, get the bioferrite the plasteel, the regular steel. Um, our ghoul is already pretty hungry. So what we're going to do, let's zoom all the way out and there's that new feature where animals are very visible. So we're just gonna do a little ghoul hunting. Kill the bunny. Eat the bunny. Beautiful. Um, we could probably one shot an elk. Oh, maybe not. Okay. That was, um, I guess, finish the job. Yo. Um, unfortunately, we need to move or create a new dumping stockpile somewhere down here. And this is uh, for fresh. And this is for rotten. So rotting stuff can go behind the Hummer. The fresh stuff stays by the back door. Um, let the ghoul sort it out. Um, look at you just mowing down as needed. Beautiful. We'll keep a little supply of goods in the back. And look how fast you just, boom, full health again. Ready to take on more wildlife. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, we've, we're eating without a table. Uh, we need to get a few shelves going. We have a decent amount of wood to get some of the basic production uh, pieces going. So we could, we could make a bio ferrite. Uh, let's just make a, a wooden one. We have a little bit of wood for that. Um, let's also make a uh, butcher table. I don't really know where we want this. What is this? Um, oh, the bookcase. Yeah, we'll keep that there for now. And then we also just want a, um, not a couple of stools. Perfect. Lots of wood. Um, we also, you know, need a couple of beds. Uh, Weasel, you are the constructor, so let's actually get these beds up and running. Can we do that. Thank you. Beautiful. Um, let's see, you're gonna get slept in the cold. So let's actually finish the job. Of course, the, the wind stops just as we, there we go. It's, it's gonna warm up a little bit in here. It is a big room, so we probably want more than one heater eventually, 
but it's a, it's a nice actually 17 18 degrees at night is is not too bad um that's pretty comfortable yeah we have awful barracks i know we have all this crap on the ground we're gonna you know make this into a better storage area eventually maybe just cut this in half have sleeping on one side work workshop on the other we'll figure something out um oh boy we do have our our feral friend who is uh monitoring things um there's no spot to store it oh I, it's because i cleared all that's fun uh corpses can go there just fresh ones though uh, don't consume all all instead bring this friend down the frozen elk we want to make a nice stockpile of food while we can we have our little bookshelves here um i'm thinking we want um what do we have for materials so we have marble chunks nearby uh, a few of them limestone we have a little bit more limestone and then we have okay what is this okay 57 34 45 so marble is actually a little bit more available in the area it does look kind of cool i think we're going to build out a marble for now i think that seems totally reasonable so let's make marble blocks we so have i don't know 200 and some seems pretty good uh let's knock hauling down a little bit set these up yeah we really don't want you having to take care of children either of you um cooking yeah let's let either of you cook um we do want to prioritize construction a little bit um, we want to prioritize uh, plant, and that seems fine for now. All right. We need all sorts of things. All right, we got some of that. We're going to deconstruct that. Let's get a little wall lamp there for our production. Let's make a stool. All right, we're getting this in the ground. We have a little bit of rice, not too much. We're getting that in there. We want to get everything planted ASAP. A nice little chunk of steel as needed. Um, we're also going to want battery storage. Um, I don't necessarily want to have it right here. Um, but we will. For now. All right, we're going to get all this repaired, which is great. Um, we have a visitor with some items to trade. Uh, granite walls. Let's deconstruct this little hunk of wall. Um, Steel wall. Oh, the meat has rotted away. Not ideal. All right, how you doing? Bucky's feeling all right. Social, we don't really... This is the problem. Neither of you are particularly social. Uh, you are currently working on planting potatoes and, and whatnot. You aren't doing anything particularly important, so we'll grab you. Come on down. And let's see what you got. Metal blood serum. A syringe full of rust-colored liquid that constantly hardens and liquefies when injected into the bloodstream. The metal blood substance can harden the flesh when it anticipates a blow, making the user more resistant to damage. However, the bioferrite-based chemistry of this serum also makes the user particularly vulnerable to fire. Interesting. So, um, makes you take less damage. Neat. That's really cool. Um, we get some herbal medicine, uh, some pemmican, nothing we really have, um, to sell, I guess. Uh, we want to keep our books and whatnot. How are we doing down here? It's spoiling in a few days, so we could just make a butcher spot and we do need to make like an actual kitchen. I suppose the next logical step is... We're going to make a wooden shelf right about there. How are we doing, friend? Oh, I made beds instead of slabs. 
Ah. Uh, supposed to make slabs. Um. Make slabs, then we'll get rid of those. And we got 19 uranium. Fantastic. That's exactly what we want at the start here. Uh, we need crafting to happen. Get your plants in the ground. Ooh, the fallen monolith is doing stuff. We have four days to get going. Um, both of our people are very good at research. We want to maybe knock up some research as well as a priority. But get this stuff in the ground. Go from there. Okay, these slabs are poor. That is fine. We'll deconstruct that. All right. Uh, we're going to reinstall these. I will just leave them there for now. Right in the middle. Just enjoy. Um, how are your needs? Whoops. Click. Okay, we're, we're well feasted. I think we're just eating the elks and then things that are lying there. Um, one thing I would like to do with this is clear all stone blocks. So that will be a source there. Um, oh, we have more visitors. What would you like? Um, nothing in particular. Excellent. Uh, I suppose Kami can equip the knife. Um, and I guess we do need to sort of expand this zone, unfortunately. Kind of getting a little bit unwieldy. Um, we have a holding platform we need to set up. We have all sorts of goods. I mean, that is something we could do immediately is, is take Bucky and just chuck her into a holding facility to research. That would be an interesting way to start. But taking advantage of uh, the strength of Bucky is, I think, something we want to do. Because we're just going to do this. Boom. Look at that dodge. Maximum melee. Eat. Consume. Well done, Bucky. What happened? You just cut its head off, and now you've eaten its tail. Um, well done. Just slowly munching away. Most of its bits are missing. All right, we have all these blocks now. We can start working on a marble structure. Okay. Um, I think we want one, two, three in between, and we'll kind of go for a, maybe we're going to go for a compound sort of aesthetic, but I think what we'll do is we will make, actually, let's, let's get a little bit more space. Um, let's go one, two, three, four, I have three spots in the middle. Um, we're going to go for like a bit of a compound feel um, to this. And I think what we want to do, uh, let's actually make this a little bigger. And then we can have a kitchen just off to the side here. I think we'll do something like that. And then we'll also do, um, we'll do the butcher. Um, something like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly how we want to do this. Um, it's a really small freezer for now. Be something like that. And we could do something like, um, there's a method to the madness. All right. And then we'll put a door right there and right there and then we'll have this is like a dining area this is a kitchen this is a freezer which we can expand as needed but for now this will hold plenty of, of food um, we will need to expand it eventually but this works um, in which case what we'll do, we will do for now is uh, make this into a bit of a dining area. Um, we'll put the tables here for now. We do need to really prioritize the crafting. Bucky, you no longer need to be hanging out there, but we need a lot more marble. Marble. 
Um, luckily, these books are a great way to keep our recreation up and get a little bit of learning done. So let's actually take a look. What books do we have? Um, contents. We have the manuscript of Butcher. Um, so <laughs> mental break threshold. OK. And void provocation. So this is our void book, right? Um, the life of hammer. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is a construction manual. Uh, people are going to gain some engineering book it's, uh, from this book. It's a standardized book on engineering. Beautiful. And then we finally have medical, which is fantastic. So these are these are some great ways. We, we need medical. We need people to be studying. I mean, we have one doctor, I suppose. Um, but that's fantastic. Now it needs. Um, yes, we like we like the pain. We like the slab bed. Uh, the barracks is awful. I know it's horrible. We're we're gonna work on it. Um, it looks like it looked like uh, Bucky was chopping down that tree or something, um, which is super fun. But not the case. We have some meals yet. Um, we have. Uh, let's see. Well, we're still frozen. Um, over here, we have a, a few corpses for our our friends to our friend the ghoul. I think what we'll actually do is um, be efficient, and what we'll do is just gather a few uh, gather a few corpses, um, so we can have a little stockpile of of meat, and that seems great. So gather them up I think what we could also do is call some of these these chunks make a dumping zone and storage this is not for corpses that is for chunks and we'll go from there uh, ancient danger yes well we have a super ghoul we could just get in there get all the stuff no problem right that's never gone bad for anyone ever um, definitely not ending one of my first runs that I decided to make a series for. Um, not at all. Ooh, construction level eight. Beautiful. So we'll make a little stove and we will need, um, okay. We need to get rid of that. Beautiful. Oh, well, thanks. We're, we're going to be here a while. So um, let's let's call. I mean, we're, let's go with the classic. We are in Bulkovia. Um, and uh, in terms of our faction, um, we are the um, we are the what are we? The ancient um, Research Society of Scholars. This is not Balkovia. This is the Northern Dig. Arse. The Ancient Research Society of Eurydites, Educators. That would be fun. Now we'll, we'll call it Ars. Okay. Beautiful. We're working away. Um, I do suppose we can uh, knock one of these out. Um, will we even actually need to make a cooler? We'll make one for now, just in case. We also should probably be capturing the. Hmm. Instead of making it there, what if we do big brains? Do there. Uh, we can just make a vent to outside or keep the door open if it's getting too hot in here. It's perfect. Um, well done. Well done, me. Um, we're going to get this kitchen done. We will get everything set up. And I think that will be the goal for finishing episode one is building this building or getting pretty close. I think we are nearing nearing the point where 
we are going to get this building finished. If not, in today's Rim World day, um, as soon as they wake up in the morning, we're going to get this finished. Weasel is a level 8 constructor, very capable. Um, Bucky is munching on plenty of things. We have some heal root. We probably want to take down quite a few trees is, is because I don't think they're going to be growing too much. Um, but we have we have means uh, we can take them on. Um, look at these crazy researchers out here and their little cold expedition. Um, I mean, it's not it's not freezing, to be fair. The tundra is is going to be a challenge, but it's not insurmountable. And we have experience out here. We we are. We're doing it, doing it fine here. Um, I, I do feel like with the added challenge of the fallen monolith, though, this this will be uh, a lot to manage. I feel like I'm I'm within a couple episodes. I'm going to completely forget about Bucky, and it's just going to be all over in a single ghoul rampage. But who knows? Maybe maybe it won't. We're almost finished with this construction. Only a few more walls. Um, we got. Slow. We were slowing down a little bit by our uh, our freezer. Weasel now has to go for a walk, get that recreation up. Um, you know what though? Uh, get the, get the job done. Get the job done. Okay. You know, have a little break. Get this job done. Let's get the perimeter wall built. Good thinking. Let's make the perimeter wall first, and then we'll worry about all this nonsense. Okay. Beautiful. Nice. That's all taken care of. We have one more little spot there. And now we're going to need to make um, some shelves. We want to make them out of wood. Oh, we have a decent amount of wood still. I mean, wood, wood kind of looks nice. Um, that'll be plenty of room for now. And look at we have a little Tox gang raid. Oh, they're attacking immediately. How adorable. Well, this is the one thing we did that was a little bit OP. Let's just let them get a little bit closer because this ghoul is probably going to decapitate our friend instantly. Um, and just in case we can we can salvage uh, this prisoner. We want to make sure that they're a little bit closer. I mean, this feels a little cruel. It's just like, oh, we want you closer to your potential prison so that we can, you know, uh, take care of you better. Um, although you are kind of effective. You did some good damage with that knife. Um, but you did get uh, demolished. Okay, let's first of all uh, link these settings and before you start being ridiculous. Uh, this is for food. All right. Next, um, realistically, this is not the ideal position or place, but we need a spot to put our our, our prisoner. <laughs> so you can go here for now, maybe. Um, and we'll we'll probably move you, because let's be honest, you're of very little consequence to us at the moment. Um, looking at your skills. You're not particularly useful. You're incapable of artistic. You're a good fighter. Um, medical is fine. You're you would be good for social, and you're a capable crafter. You would not be the worst, but you are a waster, which is annoying. So, and I don't really want to. I mean, you might just be ghoul food. Let's be honest. You're ghoul food. Um, we're not we're we're not ready for prisoners quite yet. Um, we will be soon, but for now, you're. Uh, we're hungry. Thank you. All right. Um, yeah, we didn't... Your gear wasn't good. We didn't need to save it. But in the future, I need to be better at ungearing my my enemies um, for potential for potential use. Perfect. Okay. Um, ghoul is well fed. This body is fine. We do need to make a human body pile maybe over there um cool food but is anyways 
I think we'll pause there. We will figure out how, where we're going to put this body next time. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to see where Anomaly is taking us. I will be continuing probably to play a little bit on stream, but I also play uh, Dark and Darker and a few other games randomly there as well. But feel free to hit up me on the Twitch. Uh, it is still Bulko IV, Bulko Roman numeral 4. If you would like to follow along uh, with any of my adventures there, um, it is always appreciated. Otherwise, I will continue this journey exclusively on the YouTube. So feel free to comment anything you'd like to see in the series, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.